Hey y'all, so today's video is gonna be featuring our girl, Kimmy Scott, you know, Maurice Scott's wife from our fave show, Love and Marriage Huntsville. But you know, I thought it was very, very interesting finding out more about Kimmy and how she got to Huntsville from Baltimore. Remember that for a different world? Need I remind you that the only reason why we are rushing to do this now is because someone wants to take off early to greet her two friends from Baltimore and seeing how she got to Huntsville, Alabama. So, in case you guys didn't know, Kimmy is the younger of two daughters raised by a single mom in Baltimore, Maryland. And what's interesting is that Kimmy's mom is also a registered nurse and she could cook. So it's funny how those two things basically transferred and carried on to Kimmy and what she does now. And she also has her own catering business with one of her very best friends called k, &K Cuisine. She also published her first digital ebook. Yay, let's go for the books. Y'all know I be trying to tell y'all to write y'all books, right? You know, I always be saying that, uh-uh. But yes, to Kimmy writing her books. She also noted in this article how cooking is her quiet place. You know, I love that. That's how I learned how to cook using YouTube. Anything that I have an idea of what I want to make, I will go on YouTube University and figure it out. Mm -hmm. So I think it's pretty cool that Kimmy actually has like a passion and can do cooking extremely well she got a catering business and yes her first digital ebook called kimmy's kitchen can be found on her website the kim zone oh that's cute i like that name but yes one thing in particular that i noticed about kimmy is that she's very re resilient very self-reliant and she has like a can do it can make it can make it happen attitude and that's something that i really really respect and i admire about her so as we all know she also graduated from the university of alabama in huntsville with both her undergraduate and graduate degrees in nursing and like so many other people tell us love will find you when you least expect it that is how she came across maurice she was probably chilling chilling, chilling, chilling minding, minding her business work. and then boom that's how she came across maurice and before they were actually together in the article she mentioned that they were actually really good friends first and isn't those like the best relationships the ones that start off as friends everybody that like say that wind up having like a really good marriage or relationship or you know from what we can see never know what goes on behind the scenes but friendship is a really good foundation for a marriage or a relationship you know romantic friendship mm -hmm. but yeah so that's how her relationship with maurice actually started they were good friends and he was also a mentor to kimmy and it was good because they were both able to talk real estate together. And it was actually Maurice who encouraged Kimmy to get her real estate license, which was something that she was thinking about, something that she wanted to do for a couple years prior to me and Maurice. So it's almost like everything lined up. You see, when you make your intentions known, when you put what you want to do out there, like I will order your steps and make everything line up together. Because mm -hmm, all things work together for good for those who love it. But yeah, y'all know the rest. And see, this is the type of stuff that I like like to hear you know you should definitely be with somebody that can teach you something or add on to what you got going on because Maurice was active in investment properties at the time that he met Kimmy see look so she could learn from her man I'm for that yes 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 go ahead Kimmy with your bad self so I thought that was really, really cool. So, of course, <laughs> it goes without saying that Kimmy had passed her real estate test in 2014 and she began her career in real estate. And her first transaction was actually acting as the buying agent for Marceau on one of his investment properties. And you know me, I had to go back and figure out what a buying agent was because I know what that is. <laughs> and forgive me, guys, if y'all did. But according to Realtor.com, a buyer's agent is a person that will guide you through the home buying transaction. And they're basically your right hand man. If you have any questions, concerns, don't know what something means, that is what a buyer's agent is. So it looks as though Kimmy had did the whole real estate thing for a while. And eventually in 2014 is when she met Melody and Martel. Oh. <laughs> and at that time is when they were asked to interview for what we know as Love and Marriage Huntsville. And they begin filming in 2017, which is interesting to me because you come to realize that what we see on TV or what you purchase in a store was not an overnight thing. 
it was years and years of preparation, years and years of laying the groundwork, you know? So I felt that was really interesting to realize like, okay, things just don't pop out and happen overnight. Like the saying goes, it takes 10 years to become an overnight success. So no matter where you are in life, put in that work now. That's why I love that motivational saying or sound. You may have heard it on social media, like disappear for six months. Go in, go into hiding, work on yourself, work on your craft for six months, nine stop and just focus, put all your energy on that. And then you will be like six years ahead of your competition. So that's one thing I took about. I mean, it's a small thing, but when you think about it, I'm just like, yes. So what you are doing today, if it's productive, stay consistent, put in the hours, the time, the preparation, and then you'll be shining. And also, you know, sometimes you have to keep things on a love. What you're working on, you can't tell everybody. But nevertheless, keep working on it. Filming began in 2017 for Love and Marriage Huntsville. And I know that you OG Love and Marriage Huntsville fans already know that Maurice and Kimmy actually got married on the show in 2018. Yeah, so for Kimmy, she does real estate full-time and nursing part-time, and she just took her broker's license and, of course, passed, <laughs> and she also started her own brokerage firm, which is called Scott Imperium Property Solutions. And again, you know that was something I had to look up, because oftentimes, you hear these fancy terms that they be dropping on TV when we be watching the show, but I really don't be knowing what that stuff means. So I be having to go back and research it, which is good because like I said, when you look into things, it kind of expands your brain when you put something in your noggin that you didn't know before. Like I know our brain waves are probably happy about it. So skip this part if you guys already know what a brokerage, uh, you know, what a brokerage firm is. But for y'all that did not know, according to Investopedia, a broker, is a real estate agent who has completed additional training and licensing requirements. Oh, they can work independently and hire other real estate agents to work for them compared to real estate agents who have a professional license to help people buy, sell, and rent real estate. They must work with a sponsor and broker or a brokerage firm. Oh, got it. So I feel like a broker is just like one step a little bit more advanced than a realtor. But if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. You know, people that may have more information in this field, I can be corrected. Of course, as we all know, Kimmy is married to Maurice who opened up his own law practice. And the two of them, it sounds like, have secured other investment properties and filming opportunities. Let's go team. Let's go to Scott Snow. But seriously, honestly, I think this is really big what they're doing, especially making this landscape as far as real estate and law more diverse. Uh, I mean, I, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm here for it and I wish them the best and all of that. But like Kimmy also mentioned, she was featured on an episode of HGT House Hunters. Oh, you know, that's my show. I love House Hunters International. And she was also on Owns Girlfriend's Check In. Go, sis. She also still buys and sells residential real estate. And she also added property management to the long list of things that she already does. And as you guys already know, her husband, Maurice, he opened up his own law practice. And between the both of them, they are also looking to add title closing to the company and maybe even a lender so a title closing agent is a person who sits down with the buyer or seller or borrower or all three and goes over the documents with them and answers their questions when it's time to you know purchase or lend a house and this is according to McCain and Hubbard attorney at law and a title agent is different from your escrow agent in a settlement agent, which you know you guys may have already heard before. Now y'all hear all this stuff that Kimmy got going on and she's well aware that it's gonna take a lot of energy and effort to get it done. But nevertheless, she is looking forward to her future and the things that she's going to accomplish. And just in case you guys did not know, she also has a nonprofit called Impact IT with 
initiative to help further advance some of you know the community needs the community goals and endeavors so be on the lookout for when they'll be having events and announcements pertaining to that but either way i'm like very very impressed with kimmy i felt like throughout it all reading a little bit more about her story and her background one thing that stuck out to me was that her superpower is her focus i feel like she can laser in on something and no matter what may be happening or going on around her she's going to go for a goal and she's going to achieve it not to mention like before previously she also talked about how she had her own set of challenges and difficulties being a single mom but nevertheless she persevered because I feel as though anybody that's in the medical or technical field, anything like that, I feel like it's hard enough, just that in itself. But to also put on the responsibilities of mom, wife, and all those other things, it's just like, wow, even more a lot. But I'm just so happy that she was able to do what she's doing and has done regardless of who was in her life but she did also mention why it's good to have a really good support system a good village and not being afraid to ask for help which i appreciate it and i just want to leave this one quote with you guys that kimmy mentioned in the article that i was like oh this is good this is this is real good so she said i'm at a place in my life that i would have never seen in a million years and also wouldn't change either every obstacle every road bump got me to this place and even though every day isn't perfect it's what's intended for me so i just want to leave you guys with that and also her quote I'm always up for a good challenge to prove I can do whatever I set my mind to. And that goes for the rest of us. Whatever you put your mind to, you can do. No matter how insurmountable it may seem, you can do it. And especially if you have God on your side. Just keep on keeping on. Keep going to the top. No matter what you may face. It's yours. If you can dream it, see it, do it, you can have it, all right? <laughs> Other than that, I will talk to you guys again soon. And I hope you enjoyed this video and getting to know Kimmy a little bit better. I like doing these things because I want people to know that if they can do it, we can do it. And no matter what it is, you're just one step away, one thought away, one breakthrough away from generational wealth other than that i will talk to you guys again soon do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you have not and drop in the comments what you think and also let me know some other things and other people you would like me to cover other than that i'm getting out of here and i will talk to you guys again soon bye